design a dragon. Usually I try and start with a head and figure out how that's gonna, I guess what direction it's gonna face and I guess kind of movement that I want. So it, it just depends on the head, you know, and then a body kind of, kind of follows. So let's, um, I guess it's just kind of put the head kind of going this way here. So I always kind of draw the top of the head, the nose, or or the snout, kind of get that in there. Then we have where the whiskers are going. Then form a little more of the head and the mouth. And then we have the under under jaw here or or, or jaw. Kind of get where the whiskers are going as well here. The head. Try and find where the horns are going. Always got to add the ears in. So then uh, the eyes, put those guys in there. Everything kind of has to go on the same kind of a, kind of a plane here. That way it's not too lopsided. So get a horn here. The other horn obviously is going on that side. So try and make them pretty dramatic and not too not too boring here. It doesn't matter as far as where the horns go as long as they, they just look interesting, you know. Um, you could tell that these aren't in the same of course direction. I just thought use up some some dead space in here. So then of course, you know, the body we're gonna attach that on to the head here. So, you know, you gotta find where the where the body can start. So it's kind of let's go let's go behind the head so this is a good a good point where it comes out and it looks pretty natural so at this point I just let my pencil just kind of go and see how it ends up but but a good way to get the you know the body kind of you know it's figured out in the right right size and how it tapers down is I just do these circles here and that kind of that kind of forms it and that kind of gives me a good idea of as far as where the belly's going to go as well and and the spine and just how it's going to end up I guess looking so you want to try and use up all the space that you can because you don't want any any dead space so so that's that's the body there it's just a quick little idea so from this point I kind of draw in the body how it's how it's going you could you could kind of kind of tell the shape you just got to follow these 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 lines and it kind of just naturally just happens so it's it takes a little bit of or practice to really understand you know the shape and how to make it flow all all together but I th I think once you start with the circles that's a that's a pretty quick way to, to truly get it so we kind of border it up here and try and get it nice and even that way it, it, it always has a taper and not a and not a major taper, you know, just enough to where it looks, you know, like it's it's not like really thin because that kind of looks odd. You know, you want to have some kind of thickness at the end there. So we have the body now. We got to find the spine, and then we got to find where the arms are going to attach and the legs are going to attach. And and, and so the arms, you know, they're pretty pretty close. To the head it could either be somewhere around this area somewhere like around this area but this is about the furthest i think point that you want to go out here it, it it just looks a little bit too far you know because the legs still have to go somewhere on the other half so let's just say if we put the arm say here this, this looks pretty natural and so the other arm is it's it, it'll land over there so 
we need to see how what space to fill with these arms so this one it just seems just a bit more natural to go up here so we just do a line a circle for the joints the arm or forearm here a circle here for the hand so this is the uh, other arm so this is she's going behind the dragon so this is the elbow and this is the other arm and that's where the other claw is going to be so claw here and a claw here and it all all kind of makes makes sense as far as the anatomy of it so now let's try and find where the legs are going so natural spot would probably be here i'd say this this looks like it's a good fit so legs are much are much bigger than than the arms are and they have a little more a little, a little more girth to them so let's say we put the uh, one leg going going back here we could make it go this way too but it's a hard hard stretch and plus you got this you know this body here you got a leg here then you got scales on scales and it's it just kind of too dense there so let's bring this leg back here remember it has to be a good a good size and then the other leg it's, it's going to come up here so you could only maybe see half the leg here because of course the rest of it is all behind here but you always got to just remember your your space that you have you know you have to make it fit and don't scrunch it in there and then it looks just forced so it always has to look a little bit more natural here so claw or leg going back so this is the other leg so you got a joint here a joint here and a joint here so this leg you could you could kind of see like the back of the foot here so you need these three points that indicate you know the fingers or or the claws here and the same thing with the hands here they always have three because in of course you know japanese you know dragons there's only only three claws so so let's put the fingers all there and so sort the of claws are here so then it's always it's always good i guess kind of start with it's you know to start with the with the arms here so you got to make these claws look pretty uh i guess dramatic i'd say and not too not too not too light you know it's it's a dragon so you're trying to make it you know it's look interesting and fierce and aggressive so and that is all in the face and in, in the claws so let's try and make this guy a little more dramatic here so all of the circles indicates where it starts and stops so these are the claws here so let's go here so this is going up back this one's going uh this may go this way as well then this one kind of gets get behind the head here so he you can only see like a little bit of it so this guy you know the feet are always a little bit larger here so let's make this one go up down you see the, see the space is really not that much now so you know we have to not really force it but just you know just kind of force it but still i guess make it look uh you know it's natural so we got the joints here claws all there so that's that's the basic and of course we'll have one more leg which if you go behind it so this is going like this and so the claw the leg goes up the knee comes back down you got like a foot but of course you don't want to just only see that because that gets that gets pretty boring and that gets real confusing so you got to make it make sense also so that's artistic license there where you just you just kind of add a claw there at least that indicates that it's a foot but you know you don't have to see every every single claw you can see one or two you know, just to indicate that it's there but just make 
make sure it, it it just makes a little bit of sense so and now we have all the all the legs all the arms so now we got to find the the spine which is of course top of the of the dragon so so this is where the head attaches so now let's just move a line here obviously a, obviously the body kind of goes in and out kind of kind of kind of goes in and then, then it comes out so so the spine is going to get like a little bit of loss back here only because it's going behind the curve so just make sure that you understand how it comes back out again though so then it should come back out here again so because we got the body kind of going in and out of itself and then this is the tricky part here. So we got this line here. So eventually has has to twist because the legs are here and, and so the and so the spine has to come in the middle of these of these legs now in order for it to to look of course correct. And so this line now has to meet this line. But you have to have like a belly as well, because or else if it's only spine it looks pretty boring so and so the belly I kind of always start off just like this and now you have to make sure it twists just like the just like the body doesn't just like the spine does here and so the belly and the spine always have to keep the same distance here so just make sure this is is the same all throughout and it should be just a natural curvature for the uh, for the belly to come in and out of itself. So this is about there. So let's just see where that's going to end up. And so the belly kind of ends right there. So what usually should occur, you know, just naturally, is that once the belly stops here, it should automatically start on the other side. Where it stops here, it should start here. So with that being said. The curve looks right, so then we should move it there, and then kind of start it there. And then, again, it should be the same distance. So, as long as it looks correct, then we just keep going. So then, now, I think, since the spine is going now, now behind here now we could bring the belly going all the way across so and then it ends over here so let's try that so now we're just bringing the belly all the way across which is a little bit hard especially if you're just kind of starting out with uh, understanding how to draw it so this is more of a complex design but you know there's easier ones that you can try all all you have to do is just kind of just get the basics where the feet go where the head connects and of course you know it's just where the leg goes so and that i could explain in in detail just a little bit more but let's just outline the belly here and how it should how it should how it should go so now, since the legs are here, of course, you know, that's that's a that's a natural cutoff right there. And so since this is also the the body here, so now let's figure out where the where the spine comes up here. So it goes around and so the belly it should be moving also in that way and so remember this distance has to be the same so maybe you see a little bit of belly here but not much and then it kind of goes away and then it comes back out here again and then it's going to twist a little bit so all the twists don't have to be super super long long curves it could be a long a long long twist but you just have to keep your measurements is correct all the way throughout so so the spine is about here so it is so it kind of stays on top so 
and then the body comes up goes this way and of course at this point the body is is behind the the leg there so let's keep on trying the body a little bit more trying to get it all in there so so this this is a little bit hard here cuz the claw is I guess going to eat up all of that space but let's still try and figure out where the where the spine is is going so so this kind of keeps the same and then twisting here so then the belly comes out here again then it comes back out so then the spine comes out here again and ends about here so once I start to add the add, add the red to it it'll it'll make a lot more sense and so now we got the spine that we got to add so we just do little C's all the way through just to indicate where the spines are gonna come out so those get lost the C's here again okay got those all throughout again they get, get lost the C's kind of stay just on top here and then a C start here again go behind come here so this line here is always the just a spine line there so so that's a rough layout of the of the of the first sketch and after this I draw I draw you know the red red sketch you know and, and that really pops out all the all the features of it so this is just a, I guess a skeleton of it and then after that it'll make more sense once I have the red in there all right so before we start on the red we gotta gotta flesh out this head I kind of always start with the nose because that kind of builds everything out because if, if I started here I'd have to try and, and figure a few things out so let's kind of start with that so a nose is always a pretty tricky part so there's a few ways to do it but I kind of throughout the years I kind of like this style of a nose it kind of just seems to make more sense I guess so now I got the nose in so now let's let's try and draw the brow in here indicate where, where the nose and the head are gonna meet so I know it's a little bit weird looking but just wait a few and then we'll kind of have a basic idea of where things are going so the so whiskers or, or the eyebrows you kind of always make them a little big here I'm just gonna give you a quick a, a quick layout and then once I do the red it'll make more sense so head horns remember always really big here big horns whiskers here whiskers here more whiskers big 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 whiskers because a dragon is a pretty fierce animal so you don't make it look too too light ears somewhat big as well then of course I'll just explain how the head and the and the neck all all connect because I think that's a major process there so we got everything kind of figured out there now let's go through and just flesh it out with the with the red that way it'll make more sense because the green is just a, I guess a skeleton so let's figure all that out